warns against lowering licensing exam standard for foreign trained doctors by Steve Oko. The Nigerian Medical Association has called for an investigation into the quality of medical education offered to Nigerians studying medicine in some foreign countries, especially Ukraine. Dr. NMA National Chairman, who made the call at a press conference on the occasion of Doctors' Week 2023 in Umuahia, Abia State, Uche Roland Ojinma has warned against lowering the standard for licensing foreign-trained doctors. According to NMA, those who try to impose poorly educated graduates as doctors on Nigeria are only making the cure for a disease worse than the disease itself. NMA wishes condemn persistent attempts by certain individuals and organizations to interfere with the regulation of medical education and standards, particularly in relation board licensure of foreign educated medical graduates. We have stewed the processes content of these exams in detail. We boldly state that any medical graduate who fails these exams should be humble enough to seek help, not resort to brazen arm twisting blackmail. We stand with MDCN on this issue and encourage the registrar to remain undaunted as no one can intimidate him while we watch. As stated in the physician's promise, we will do everything in our power to defend the honor and noble traditions of medicine. We wonder why it is only the medical profession that is facing this attack. Other courses are in Ukraine, Sudan, Egypt, Belarus etc. It is also read in other countries. Why should medicine have to accept all and sundry practices? Qualified or not, if our government does not value the lives of Nigerians, so does the NMA and will insist on not creating terror on Nigerians by licensing unqualified medical and dental graduates. Those who pass their licensing exams are not aliens. If you can't pass, ask for help and try again. We particularly wish appeal our beloved National Assembly resist being used under any guise. Compromise the quality of healthcare delivery in Nigeria. If Nigerian trained doctors and dentists are inadequately trained, they will not be in high demand globally. Our government must immediately investigate the quality of medical education offered to our children in Ukraine. Let us stand up to defend the health of the average Nigerian. The NMA has voiced its opposition the federal government's proposal to halt MDCN funding from next year, describing the plan as ill-conceived and can only lead disaster. The role of MDCN, which regulates the practice of medicine and dentistry, is so important that it is appropriate that it be funded by government. If we stop funding MDCN, I wonder who we would want to do it. Presumably doctors and dentists will fund a body that can regulate them and punish them if necessary. Let's not forget that whoever pays the piper can dictate the melody. We call on our esteemed government to continue funding MDCN for the sake of the health and well-being of our citizens.